My name's Christine Skye. I come from Six Nations Reserve. I'm Mohawk Turtle Clan. And um, I was born at home. And um, when I came out, instead of my great aunt saying, it's a boy, it's a girl, they said it's a seer. And uh, so I've been put, put on, I was put on me right from the beginning. My, my mother grew up in a superstitious time and uh, she never wanted me to do that because it was bad at that time, that, like how that video said witchcraft and all that stuff. So she never wanted me to, uh, to, to do this. But I, I became very ill and um, all through my childhood I was ill. All through my young adulthood I was ill. So. What I would do is uh, readings for my nieces and nephews. And uh, so one day my niece said, can you help this little boy? His mother keeps taking him to the doctors and uh, they can't seem to find out what's wrong with him. And I said, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna do that. She says, she says, just try it. So I did the reading on him and uh, I found out what was wrong with him. And uh, he did a ceremony he got better. And so that's how I, it started. And I've been doing readings for people for 30 years now. And I, I work here. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad that Karen opened the, Dr. Karen Hill doc, opened the door for us uh, traditional people to come in because other um, territories had accepted it. And now it was accepted here. I worked in, uh, um, in a place called Yenagwatsaliyo in Akwesasdan for five years. And then I came back and they wanted me to work in London. I still work in London and I work in Toronto and I work here and periodically I go to Tainadega. And um, this is how I, I, I liked using this picture, which I borrowed several years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I own it now. <laughs> Squatters' rights. We have a creation story in the Iroquois legend and how we how we came to be, and there was twins born, but their mom died, and when they buried their mother, out of her body came these things here, these plants. Out of her head or her mind came the Indian tobacco. And that's why we, I, that's what I use in my readings because it's a connection here. Out of her breasts come the corn, that's the white corn. I also process white corn for corn soup and cornbread. But it's not only our food, it's our medicine too. It has a lot of uh, medical things in there. Then the rest of her body is the corn, beans, and squash. And then out of her feet, it's a wild potato, they call it, or you want to call it a Jerusalem artichoke, and it has its own insulin. And uh, I used to wonder about that, why that was brought in, and uh, now, now I know why. So, but it's an acquired taste, it's very bitter, but it does help lower your blood sugars. When people come to see me, that's why I said I use the tobacco. And when they put that tobacco in their hand, I ask them to put their thoughts and prayers in there. And when they do, I use a white paper. The reason why I use a white paper is because it's more clear for me to see. And when they put it over the paper and it falls, I, it's like a snowflake. None of them are ever the same. And I look at it and I get a feeling. That's how I can describe my gift is feelings. I, I, I've never seen this person before. And when we did the little scenario, you, usually um, Joanne doesn't tell me what's wrong. I've, I've already asked them, don't tell me. I, I would just rather see that person and we'll discuss it after. So that's the way we, we really do it. So when they come in and I can see in the tobacco and it's like it opens up things for that person. And that's why I'll say that to them too. What's ever said in this room stays in this room. It's up to you if you want to tell somebody. And 
I strongly believe in you have total control over your future, but what I can see is two roads, the road you're on now or this road here, and it's always your choice which one you want to take. And I explain to them why they'll need medicine. I explain to them why they need to have a ceremony. And when the client leaves, they're clear on why they have to do these certain things because you need to know too why I'm doing these things. And I have 18 grand, I have five children, 18 grandchildren. And out of my 18 grandchildren, I have one granddaughter who took after me. And I believe my grandmother was like that too. So when I come across dif seeing different clients too, and they have these gifts, I believe our gifts are our survival. If we don't use our gifts, we always have this emptiness in here or that feeling that we forgot something. Like we have so many artists, singers, dancers, um, even medicine people, seers, but as children, nobody enhances it. So when I come across a parent who has a child that's gifted, I'll tell them, Encourage them, and whenever they say something, listen to them. And even my, my, um, my sister here, she has a grandson. He's only just a little over a year old. And already he, he sits, he sings, he's already a singer, and he's telling us what he is. And we just need to encourage it. And so he's, he's his uncle gave him a little wee turtle rattle. And it's just like it was natural to him. He just hung on to it and just started singing. <laughs> so that, that makes me feel really good that, you know, you see that. Eh? And I think that's where a lot of our hurts come from, too. Like, when we're growing up, we, we don't have that encouragement. We don't have that compliment and, and, and all those things. We need to give our children that so that they will grow up. Like, most of you in this room must have had a mentor at one time and someone be standing behind you saying, go ahead, go ahead. You know, I know it's hard what you're doing, but keep on going, you'll get it. Same with this thing here, what I do, I was so afraid of, of doing this. I, I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to do all that, but it came natural to me after a while. And I seen the people that I helped like two, three months later, I'll see them, they look really good. And that make, that's what makes me feel good, is I know and I help that person. So that, that's, what, that's what I do here. And a lot of it is counseling too. And a lot of it is traditional stories. And I believe in the Handsome Lake Code that was given to us. And uh, I try to live by that as, as much as I can. And when I, I pass that on to the clients to this is what's happening, look at this. Like we have, our people are very angry, they're angry people. Like in the video it says, you know, you're angry at this person, angry at that person, angry at yourself. We need to eliminate that. And like that's where everything starts, is the mind. And it filters down through the body making us sicker and sicker and sicker. So, so that's, that's what I do. And um, if you have any questions after, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.